We're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel, and AK Blade is back again. Yeah, we're still trucking, but this time we're carting new blades from PMP, CRKT, Boker, Low Rhino, Reich, and Wanda Tactical. You can start the show off officially. That is, go ahead. Are you going to do it? Yeah. All right. Let's go with the CRKT Minimalist Katana. Yep. So, only one option on this specific model. Mm -hmm. Though, by now you can get it. And with any kind of blade you want, I guess. Cleaver Persian about Bowie Tanto. Mm -hmm. Cthulhu. Cthulhu, bless you. Yeah. Any you can name. They've got it. Now, this one is 6.63 .63 inches overall with a 3.56 inch katana style blade. Biggest blade of the series yet. It's got a plain edge, flat grind, jimping. Look at that. Jim. Bead blast finish. And it's made of, can you guess it? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe 8CR 13MOV? <laughs> 10 wow. points for Gryffindor. Wow. <laughs> Remember this for prosperity. This fixed carry also features a green resin infused fiber handle. Oh, wow, that's that. his luxury. It is. Lanyard hole with lanyard and a black thermoplastic neck or belt sheath. Look at this. It is designed by the late Alan Foltz. This katana millist hmm. weighs only 1.3 ounce and can be yours for the low price of $32.48. Alright, you can go first. Alright, I'll give me the wheel, I'm gonna drive it. Alright. Believe it or not, I like this little knife. Um I'm not big on the whole series, but I do I've always liked how it fits right in your fingers. I mean it's nicely finger done. There, buddy. Perfect. Doesn't weigh a lot, so you can wear it around your neck for 30 bucks. Great little box cutter. Great little stay away from me knife. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone needs a great little stay away from me knife. Hey. Especially nowadays, right? <laughs> well, I have to Social say that. Social distance. Yeah. Well, six, six that's feet. That's six point six three inches. Oh yeah. Right there. So I have to say that Alan thought of use with this one. It's thinner near the belly, guys. More chiseled. What did you do to this? Okay. It was easily coming out before. Now it's it's like no, I don't want to. More chiseled <laughs> toward the tip of the blade, so you can easily use it for like uh, utility tasks. Thicker grind. Behind the point of the blade will help it get, glide through, you know, boxes, paper, whatever. On the other hand, it is like the same knife before, just a slightly different blade style. I both admire that and hate that. <laughs> so, next knife is the PMP Warthog. Yes, so eight options offered for this one Bet right you now. you like that. But this one needs a tighter there hold. It's a heavier knife. Jeez. What are some of those options? So, it's offered in green blue, black, orange, and combinations of black and white, black and orange, black and red, and black and brown. So we have the black and white one. Uh, I'm black and blue and filled with chagrin. So this fixed carry is 9.5 inch overall with a 5.04 inch 440C stainless steel blade. Stone washed with jimping. Yep. It's about 0 0.2 inches thick and comes to about 5860 on the HRC scale. Handle is black and white Damascus pattern with milled grooving for improved grip. Finally, it's got full tang, a jimped lanyard hole, and comes with a black Kydex boat sheath, and was designed by Marcus Reinhardt. And it's just 135 from Atlantiknife.com. You know what? I think I said that Alan Foltz was late. The late Alan Foltz. I meant great. No. I meant late Kit Carson. Yeah. I think I got him backwards. Obviously, he couldn't design a new the, knife. No, yes. Okay. An M16. Mm -hmm. no. All right, 135 AK. Here we go. Tell us what you like and dislike. I like the design, and I like all the options. The handle is off the hook. I love this handle. It looks great. And it fits nicely in the hand so well. It's like an extension of you. Is that great? It's great design. However, $135 for 440C stainless steel. Mm. Uh, I know PMP is based in like Switzerland, but I'm not sure if their like knives are like made there or not. But 440C, mm, it's a nice knife. I will give it that. But I don't know if it's 135. I think it's the workmanship that pulls off at 135. It, it, I do really well, like the handle. I gotta tell handle. you, if you can't cut what you need with this, 
you just flip it over, shake it at them, and they'll fall over dizzy. I mean, that's true. Either way, it's kind of reminds me of this ink block. Along. There you oh, go. Ink block. I actually Check. like this knife a lot. It reminds me of the. And I always come back to this. That little hen and rooster. It's like forty bucks that I like. Um, it's a great size. I like the thickness of the blade. I like the. Uh, Oh, yeah. you could use it as a glass breaker, I guess. Oh, yeah. It would definitely work. Throw this thing around the glass. Oh. Sheath is very nice. I think it's I think it's well done. So, 135 that's kind of the nowadays price, don't you think? I don't like the nowadays price. <laughs> I, I, I hear what you're saying, and I, I refute it. Maybe we got not, nowadays money. I refuse that. We need, like, ne yesteryear. Formal <laughs> protest. That's what I'm doing right now. All Go right. Ahead, so. so, following this warthog is the... Wander Tactical, Hast Eagle 2.0. Yeah. Just, just look at that. Mm. Look at that. So it's the new version in natural canvas micarta. There is an older model, not the, not it's not a 2.0, it's just a Hast Eagle. Mm -hmm. um, older model in slate blue micarta. Mm. So. Well, this model is 11.141 inch overall, with a 5.75 inch dark earth. Gun coat finished D2 blade with jimping. And it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Look at that jimping, people. Beastly. Handle is sculpted natural canvas micarta with lanyard hole. Right here. Full extended tank. Comes in a black gotcha. belt sheath. Yep. Look at that. There you go. Look at Rotate that. It. And all of Wander Tactical's knives are expertly heat treated. 259, 60. Call it 61 on the Rockwell. Lip. With cryogenic heat treatment and fully tested to provide the best reliability humanly possible. Yep, so you can snatch up your own Host Eagle 2.0 for just $294.80 for four. Great job. You didn't lay an egg. Awesome. Yeah. All right, from AtlantaKnife.com. Don't give any facts about the Haas Eagle. I just want you to know I restrained myself. Did you? Yep. So you're up. You can go first. Oh, you may go first. Yeah. Oh, well. well what, what can you say? What, I think this one is right up say? there with the, and I'm going to get it wrong. Is it the Pterodactyl? The Pterodactyl? The Wonder Tactical? Eurotac. Eurotac. This is one of their best, I think. I'll, I'll stop there and let you have at it from this point forward. How about well, that? I'm going to be honest, I don't really see much difference between the original, except maybe the blade cut out and the color. However, I will say that I really, really like the finish on this blade. It looks amazing. Kind of like a Dawson Knives, isn't it? It looks, it looks great. And then mm -hmm. the really big jimping is nice. I would say that both this one and the older model, mighty hefty fixed blades, okay? Either one will do the job. I mean, whatever you are, survivalist, soldier, bushcrafter, hunter, outdoorsy, explorer, mm -hmm. or this, this one's good, backyard warrior. Mm. This knife will be whatever you need it to be. Well, and they still have the lifetime warranty. Yeah, exactly. So that's a plus. Some other brands are well, they're doing away with it. They're just pretending like it doesn't exist. Okay. <sighs> Let's look at it for one last time. That is nice, isn't it? I feel like this could be what was inside the case because it's got that gold finish going on. <laughs> Ooh, that would take salt. Who knows? All right. It's even got the lip on the sheath. Look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. I feel like I've been here before. <sighs> Next blade on the table. All right. Glow Rhino Light Bringer. But before we bring you the light, uh, you got to bring us the likes. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, along with ringing that bell. Very nice, Carol Ann. So, you not only bring light to your life via AK Blade videos, but you can also be automatically entered into our giveaways. And if you haven't been watching in the past, however... However many hundreds. We're at it hundreds. is a lot. It, oh, we're over hundreds. We're yeah. probably two hundreds. Whoop, whoop. Wow. However many episodes we've done. passing Seinfeld soon. I'm going to get me a coffee show. <laughs> See, then... You wouldn't know it's time that we announce the winners. Yep. So here we go. Could be giveaway. We've been hosting. Right now. So on the YouTube, the now proud winner of the Kubi 202C with carbon fiber and S35 VN steel blade is the exalted. C hot. Mm. No. Woo. Sorry. It's oh. it's Jason Price. 
You sure did the same. Like I Ric Flared and everything. Come on, he could be related to Vincent Price. You don't know. I'd be if I careful. If I put him in that house, he'll get killed. I'll take the knife. He does get killed. That's right. And the winner of the Kubi 232B with titanium and D2. That's nice. You know what? I want to win this one. Oh, From AK's yeah. blog is the Empyreal. Empyreal. Chris Roberts. Yep. Rockin' Roberts. You lucky, okay. lucky son of a gun. All right. Congrats to all you winners out there. However, if you didn't claim a prize this time, you're going to get another chance. Mm -hmm. However, you will have to tune into our Q&A video with Mike Fellencamp to see what that is. If there is a video. But I, I have faith in you. I have faith in you. It's not it doesn't our... sound like it. You just used if. Oh, it's hey, like the great look. pumpkin. If you use if, he just flies right on by look, you. It takes two to Camp. Wow. So, Boo. it's not our first video tease, and it probably won't be our last either. That's that's probably true. Can't you hear it right now? It takes two to... Make you, a thing. Yeah. No, that's mm -hmm. great. All right. I cannot believe it. These so, bad never movies in. I can't believe you just tried to do the... Okay. If there's anything you want to know about knives or a specific question you'd like to ask of Mike, leave it down below in the comments. We need questions. We do. Or... On the Q&A post itself here on YouTube or any of our other social media sites. Yep. If that's not your thing, you can always email us at salesandlandknife.com. Mm. When do you love that? I know. You never know. You and your question might be featured here on the show. Yeah. Okay. Time to bring the light bringer around, Chiefs. All right. All right. So, only one option for this folder right, right now. now. <laughs> Hoping to get the other one. This is a collabo but... from Glow Rhino and Ferrum Forge. However, it's able to shine all on its own. Designed by Elliot Williamson of Ferrum Forge Knife Works, this EDC is all about bringing the flare as it is 8.125 inches overall with a 3.5 inch Nitro V sheep's foot, you know, rhino horn style blade with flat grind, stonewash fin finish, jimping, and is 0 0.12 inches thick. You know, with flare, mm -hmm. this knife really expresses itself. It should. It's, you know, this is how it expresses itself. <laughs> yeah, you'd like to see it express. It also features Glow Rhinos, Glow Rhinos tritium inserts in both the black backspacer mm -hmm. and in one side of the dual-sided thumb studs. All right. Yeah. Handle is black G10 and shows off Glow Rhinos logo on both the pivot cap and the tip-up deep Look carry pocket clip. That's nice. This steel liner lock can be deployed with the flipper tab mm -hmm. or the dual sided thumb studs. So, there you go. Operating on ceramic ball bearing pivot system for smooth opening. You can light your way with the light bringer for only 150 AK. Damn. That's great. I actually want to hear what you have to say. So, you go on ahead. Well, I got to tell you, this thing kind of reminds me of a. I, I like this design. Was it. Was it Ferrum Forge just a couple weeks ago it had this real thin handle and a thicker blade? Kind of reminds me of a Wii mm -hmm. or um, even a CJRB that, um, like a Crag or something Crag. with a smaller handle that they have. Definitely like a Chinese style knife, but I like it a lot with the smaller handle and the larger blade. Um, the Tritium, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it says that you can, uh, there's all kinds of places that are dark. Yeah, other <laughs> than... Mother-in-law's heart. Uh, but if I were to put this in there, purses. we wouldn't see it. What was it? Purses. I mean, you Drawers. know. Drawers. Maybe, maybe guys carry purses somewhere. I don't know. I, I don't. Hey, so, ladies. You know. Oh, ladies. Ladies. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, Pockets. You know. There's <laughs> other ways to find that knife, you know. Okay. Um, I think it's a good EDC. It's nice size, nice look. Tritium, as you mentioned... I know it's Glow Rhino's thing, okay? But it's not like a Glow in the Dark Spyderco Delica or the Max Ace Goliath 2.0 that glowed in the dark. This is kind of, dare I say it, gimmicky? I mean, I like the knife. I, it could be without the tritium inserts. I mean, I mm. really don't think it needs this extra stuff. It's cool, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of like the Cold Steel Scorpion line. <gasps> wow, you just didn't good. We didn't really need that. And I don't think some we really people really need like that. The tritium. Well, all right, okay. They, I'm right there with you. They're allowed to really like it. Well, I, just I will don't say think this about it. it: it is less gimmicky than the tritium in the ZT. Okay. Three fifty. That's true. That's just like knife tritium. 
You're just like, okay, well, what's well, the point? Well, they did it a little bit. I, they kind of gave it a little design. But I do like the little uh, thumb stud yeah, edition. It's not a really. Touch. Yeah, they say so you can see the blade in the dark too, but I feel right. like it just makes it look cool. Let's move on. We haven't mispronounced anything today, so here's my opportunity the Boker Mini FX. All right. One option. <laughs> This frame mock is 6.75 inch overall with a 3 inch satin finish VG10 steel blade with jimping Yay. and open with a jimped flipper stud. Handle is gray titanium. Am I reading this right? Mm -hmm. With a red and black carbon fiber inlay? Yes. On a boker? Yeah. This what? This guy also has a layer hole, a tip up titanium pocket clip and comes with a black zippered case. Nice. Look wow. That. Yeah. For just 800 and no. How much? 149 From a land knife For a boker. Yeah. Does it say boker on it? Yeah, it says boker on it. Wow. I know. So, I'm going to go first. I like the classier side of boker. This is nicely done, much like the boker nebula they did, which I really like, mm. and the carbon fiber quaken, which everybody mm. loves the quaken. Come on. Little small, but when you think about where it's made and who it's Boker's usual clients are, you can kind of understand why it's, you know, 6.5. So I can understand that. Overall, I think it's like a, a great classy man carry. That's what I would call it if I had to sum it up. What say you? Yeah, go ahead. Right. What about you? Well, believe it or not, I, I like this. Try to hog them. Just I would really expect more money out of, out of a Boker like this. I mean, this is kind of in the price range of like a Reich Knight. Or a, uh, what's the one above the night that we like? 1902. Mm -hmm. It's 199 but a little more quality on the blade steel. But, uh, wow, I'm surprised because we get a lot of bokers in here that the price tag on them is 1000 bucks, 1200 bucks, trench knife, or, I mean, there's a lot of them. Not just one. Little, you know, little pocket knife with a corkscrew, 450 I mean, so this is surprising to me. I'm, I'm not going to get too excited because I don't want to... Uh, lower my expectations to a or raise my expectations to where I think wow they're gonna send me quality stuff for 150 bucks that would be crazy this now. one's quality though so we'll go with that one keep that one in mind I like that one all right go ahead next up last up it's the Reich knife tactical pin yep we're featuring another pin mm -hmm. everyone has to write come on right 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 okay so four options Golden blue, golden green, dark gray, as Batman might say he works in, mm -hmm. and purple and blue. Guess which one we get. Mm -hmm. I know which one we get. So each one of these awesome pens is 5.5 inches overall, features the bolt action, you know. Look at that, that's nice. Anodized titanium construction, each one's got a unique look that can't be overlooked. Mm -hmm. Finally, each one has an anodized titanium pocket clip to match their exterior, a lanyard hole, and Last Glass breaker. breaker. You can have a right tactical pen that feels like you're riding with a Mont Blanc for only seventy nine twenty from AtlantaKnife.com. On your desk at the law firm. I got a Camry. How would you like to write your name with this Panther? Wow, it's it's stunning. Really, more than anything, I have to say it's a really nice pen. It's got dual purpose, of course, because you can you know carry it around your neck and then use it to. Break open the window of your Porsche. So it's about to sink into the Atlantic. So, not I'd, the Atlantic. I do like their their little like, um, looks like a face with a mask. I feel like it, that's what it's supposed to be. But it looks cool. See right there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Cause don't they do another one that has like the one with the alien? Do you remember it? It came the with Reich the aliens. like alien uh, yeah. knife. Yeah. I think it's supposed to look like a girl, wouldn't it? No, that was the am the not that amethyst. What was it? What was it again? Amulet. Amulet, okay. Amulet looked like a girl. Well, I will say when it comes to pins, and I look, I didn't think ten years ago we'd be sitting here talking about pins. I didn't think we'd be sitting here talking about anything. That's but true. um, they make it's a so nice fun. titanium pin. Like a All of them they made. Spinner almost. At I know that bold actions. How much? I mean, come on, it's a pin. But it's a pin. They make the best one. They do by far. All right. You should you should see it right. It's gorgeous. Got to post on another line knife dot com. Come. Yep. All right. So what do you think about pin? Well, I might say really cool pin. All right. Can't beat that. All right. <laughs> that does conclude this week's video. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. All right, Gloria. I was just getting excited about this week's show. That's great. 
So, you're not only linked with AK and notified when we drop new videos. That was the... Drop the mic almost. But oh, no. I thought it was the um, dance. Thriller no. dance. No, it was dropping. It's a dropping motion. Thriller's oh. up here. Come on. <laughs> okay. So you'll be notified when we drop new videos like the one we're doing with Mike Vellacamp. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Really right, our get social, you hyped our up. social media coordinator and our boss man. <laughs> incorrigible. Yep. You also get entered in giveaways. You can head on over to our blog and leave your question for him or any of our social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. We also post pictures, AK deals, and more. With that, I'm C and this is Joel. Just Joel and I got the pin so I'm signing off. <laughs>